Carter in his hands on the right side, pulls it up, 15-footer is good. I feel like um, I played with a lot of confidence. I knew that um, South Carolina was a pretty good team. I wanted to come out and be aggressive, just attack and make sure I play, um, play good on defense as well. Comes in front, kicks it out, Carter's open, he fires, he's got another one. Carter's hit four threes there in the first half. Inbound to Weatherspoon. He's going to put it on floor and drive it up the floor. 15 seconds on the corner. Tyson Carter out of the corner. Short with a shot. Rebound tapped in by Kegler. And timeout is called. It's a four-point ball game, and the inbound is going to be broken up, but grabbed by South Carolina, and they will run out the ball game, and that will do it. Ball game is history, 77 to 73. Beat a really good team. you got to be able to get stops. and uh, It's been frustrating because we played well enough. And then we get the last five or six minutes and just can't close out the deal. Drives it into the lane, tried to put it up, got it partially blocked, taken away. Long uh, up to Tyson Carter, reverse layup up and in. That's a nice move by Tyson. In the first half, it was just a tough grind out game because that's how that's how Georgia plays. You know, it was more of a defensive game, but we made a couple, we made a few shots in the first half to um, to put us over the top a little bit for the first half. Drive the baseline ready, and he's going to put it up and in as he drove that baseline and gets points. I.J. gets his second bucket. When you look at our team, we've improved quite a bit from where we started, but, you know, we want to be rewarded with W's versus L's, and that's ultimately, uh, you know, we've got to try to bounce back now against Florida, who's, you know, one of the top eight teams in the country based on the, uh, the early uh, brackets that were released by the NC2A this past weekend. Hi, Dak Prescott here. After losing my mom to colon cancer in 2013, it became personal to me. It is the second leading cancer killer. The good thing though, it can be prevented, it can be treated, and it can be beaten. So if you're 50 or older, get screened. Do it for me and do it for yourself. Come see us at Gastroenterology Associates or Baptist Cancer Center. Locations in Columbus and Starkville. This President's Day, get to Nissan now and save on a lineup with intelligent safety features and America's best truck warranty. It's clear why we're America's fastest growing auto brand. Take on the everyday. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on the 2017 Rogue or get a low $2.99 per month lease on Titan. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Obviously, Florida is a very good team, uh, nationally ranked, uh, first place in our league, and uh, we knew that they were very athletic and long, very good guard play, and, and Allen and Casey Hill, and then they bring in Chiazzo off the bench. So, you know, they've got good personnel and a uh, very, very uh, well-coached team. He's driving, gets it inside, gets struck away. Weatherspoon with a steal. Bounce pass intended for Reddy, bounces away. Weatherspoon picks up the loose ball and pops it up off the glass and in. I thought that our, we did a great job preparing for the game. Our players did and uh, being ready to defend them. We kind of changed some things we normally do defensively and uh, it helped us. Florida has brought Canyon Berry into the ball game. Get it inside to Holman who backs it in and off the glass and in. Bulldogs haven't done much as far as trying to get it anywhere. And it's five on the shot clock and ready going to jump up and fire and hit a three. Starts to go. Kicks it across court to Xavier Staple and he drives all the way to the hole. Puts it up and in. Gets the bucket to go. Keith Stone picks up the foul on a block. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. On the drive it is uh, Chioza down the middle and boy, hurrah, Holman just Slapped that one right over the end line as he tried to take it up against the big guy. Weatherspoon curled into the lane, gave it to Stapleton, comes down the lane. The reverse layup, really nicely done in and good by Xavier and Stapleton. Ready on the move, bounce pass to Weatherspoon, drives that right baseline and scores off a nice assist pass. Q early in the Florida game, was we were really getting up and down. And, uh, you know, you look at that first time out, uh, all five of the starters for both teams were exhausted because uh, it was really an up and down uh, affair and yet 
you know, they struggled to score. Uh, you know, we, we, we struggled to score. We scored, Q scored a couple of times for us. And, uh, you know, so it was a, uh, a game of, uh, you know, up and down fast pace early on in particular. Look inside, going to lob it in there to Snyder, her rod, who grabs it and goes up and lays it in and good. He, he dropped it, but he still got it back and scored it. I.J. Ruddy puts something in motion, starts to drive, kicks it back, stapled him with a long three. No good. Holman puts it up and in just before the buzzer. Offensive rebound bucket for Holman off the right side. I was just aware that, okay, we, um, we're definitely getting the last shot at the first half. And I realized, you know, when I went up there to set the screen, it was maybe 10 seconds left. So that was just in the back of my mind. So I, I was just thinking if I get the rebound, just put it up as quick as I can. We placed his body to where he was blocking out on offense, something that we talk about and uh, try to get our players to do, to actually position themselves and block out offensively. And uh, he did that and did a good job and it came to him. Uh, on a missed shot from Xavier and uh, gave us some momentum going into halftime. We were keeping each other up, we were staying positive, we were recognizing our shots wouldn't fall in, you know. So we told each other, you know, okay, maybe we need to start getting to the line, get to the free throw line and stuff like that. So we were staying positive being a team. Bulldogs with some ball movement and a little weave outside now driving into the lane. Weatherspoon down the lane and lays it off the glass and in and good. Shovels it back to Peters down to nine. Well, you've run around the perimeter a while, but you haven't gotten inside at all. Peters starts to drive, drop step, takes it to the hole, puts a reverse layup, hip it in and spun it off the glass. That's called putting English on the basketball because his head and shoulders on the right side of the rim. He shot it back with his left hand and put enough spin on it to get it to go back in the goal. Kicks it, open three on the way, in and good by Peters, who did not score, but gets the five points here early in the second half. Peters hands it back to Eli Wright. He starts to drive it, takes it underneath, lays it up on the iron, and good. And a nice drive to the hole by Eli Wright. Good aggressive drive. Got in around all those trees and laid it up off the glass. 45-43. Florida lost it. It's loose. Bulldogs get it. Kegler ahead to Weatherspoon. Driving to lay it up and in. Nice job. He had Robinson right behind him, but he has got it up and in anyway. Harard comes up and sets a screen outside the circle. Peters drives down the lane. Going to put it up and miss it. Get it back and put it back in. Throws it ahead to Kegler, front of the pack. He's going to lay it up and in. Kegler's first point to the ball game. Now he's been right around 80. Second free throw in and out, no good. Ball slapped outside, kept alive. Bulldogs get it. Baseline drive by Kegler, lays it in and good. Ends up being a three-point play in a two-point ball game. Bulldogs out hustle quarter that time, Jim. Lamar Peters knew the ball wasn't going in. He chased it, got a deflection, got it to Kegler for a basket. Bulldogs got three out of that possession. Holman going to back it in there. Turn with a little jump hook on the iron and in. Nice play by Holman. Back to a two-point ball game, 52 to 50. Dogs down by two. Without Eric, I know we would struggle a lot. You know, sometimes if Q's not scoring, you may have somebody else that can come in and, you know, put up points as Lamar does at times. You know, I can score at times. Mario, Zay, and Eric can score at times. But you don't get the rim protection that Eric brings and just the authority that he brings sometimes when Eric's playing, you know, just that rim protector. We don't, we don't have another rim protector like Eric, and it's hard to replace that. Defense is what wins the game, so my mindset was, just, okay, maybe I, I uh, hopefully I can get another block this next possession and, and have my team. Throws it off to the right side to uh, Weatherspoon, inside to Holman, goes up and jams it and ties it. During the game, uh, we, we got that dunk shot and uh, tied the game up, I believe at 52 all, uh, and uh, they came down, we, we had a good defensive possession, it's just we blocked the shot and turned it was Eric that actually turned and missed the fact that it was blocked, and so he thought it was coming off the rim, and it finished short, and his guy got it. Uh, and it's just unfortunate for us. And he's just going to throw one up before the buzzer. Gots off the rim. Final score, 57 to 52. The Florida Gators survive. The Bulldogs, again, take one of the top teams in the SEC, play them tight, have a chance in the final two or three minutes of the ball game to possibly get a win and come up short. We could compete with anybody, but 
I think the biggest thing is to learn how to win those games. You know, we're always tied up with like four or five minutes left. And we end up slipping by five to six points. You know, this young talent is great, and I'm looking forward to keeping up and watching and see how well they can be in a couple years. They're scared good, but with some more experience and more development and more players here, it's, it'll be great. This President's Day, get to Nissan now and save on a lineup with intelligent safety features and America's best truck warranty. It's clear why we're America's fastest growing auto brand. Take on the everyday. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on the 2017 Rogue or get a low $2.99 per month lease on Titan. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Talk has a new home, and that home is the veranda. Join me, Ben Howland, every Wednesday night for dinner and Dog Talk Live. The veranda is home of the best steaks in Starkville and the best blue plates in Mississippi. Jay Yates is always cooking up something delicious. I'll see you at the veranda, where it's all about the flavor. rematch game where we played poorly uh, up in Oxford and we wanted to atone for that and uh, I thought our defense uh, was much better and, and obviously having an IJ in this game was big because our transition defense was better, our half court defense was better. On the outside Tyree to the wing to Davis, drop it down to Saez, double team, tried to throw it outside, intercepted by Peters, bounce pass and a driving layup off a beautiful feed, IJ ready with a finish and the Bulldogs up 4 nothing. Weatherspoon on a drive, kicks wide open ready from 16 is good. Ready drives, gets in the lane, puts a floater up, off the glass, no good. Put back up and in by Kegler, who came crashing down that right baseline. Nice follow-up by Mario Kegler to get that offensive rebound basket. 13 on the shot clock. Back to Carter. Carter going to drive it all the way in with a floater off the glass, in and good. Nice job to take it to the hole when he saw something open. With uh, And they get it to Carter, open on the wing, tires it up and in and good. So Carter, somebody, they just lost Carter over there on the right wing. He caught it. He didn't have anybody within five or six steps of him. Now to Weatherspoon, back to Reddy, driving a baseline, reverse layup. And the Bulldogs have a lead as Reddy gets his third bucket and his seventh point of the ball game. Kegler looks at a three, decides no, throws it inside to Witherspoon, who put it up, missed it, pops it back up there. He just stayed there, kept his man on his back, got the rebound, and stuck it back in. Stapleton in there, back to Reddy, starts to penetrate off to uh, Kegler underneath, and he missed it, and he tapped it back in. Weatherspoon to Kegler, he gets a good look, a three on the way, he swishes it. Kegler from long range gets the bucket. He's got nine first half points, and Mississippi State has a 25 to 23 lead. Starting to drive into the lane, picking up a loose ball, shoveling a cross court to Cullen Neal, who fires up a three, no good. Rebound grabbed by Stapleton, and the Bulldogs will take a two point lead to the dressing room. 25 23, dogs by two at halftime. We were so fired up, you know, it, it kind of like, I don't know, we really had to didn't tell each other what to do, you know, because that, that's a big rivalry game. So then th that game, it was more of, you know, just, just staying patient, just keep being aggressive and, and stay locked in on defense. We knew they were going to come back and try to go into Saez because uh, he had been in foul trouble in the first half, so didn't play a lot the last 10 minutes of the first half. 
and that was going to be a focal point for their offense, and we had to be ready to defend that and uh, do a good job knowing that's where they were going to go with it. And then, uh, you know, we had to do a better job taking care of the basketball. Throws it outside, knocked away by Weatherspoon. He goes and gets it. He's in front of the pack, and he lays it up. Actually, took it with two hands and slammed it through the goal. Goes to his right, back to his left. Keeps the ball in his hand, stays on the dribble. Fires a jumper on the way and out. No good. Rebound underneath. Put back up and in by Stapleton. Xavier Stapleton had a really good uh, second half. You know, he had nine rebounds, 11 points. Did some really good things for us defensively. He brought us a lot of energy, so I was pleased with his play. Going to uh, back it up, get a little bit of room, fire a three on the way, no good. Stapleton took it back up and in with a defender right over his shoulder. Inbound Carter gets an open look, fires and hits a three. Boy, nice job of curling to the wing and open on the inbounds play. Looks like Tyson Carter has found his stroke again tonight, Jim. 49-47, Ole Miss by two, ready on the side, picked up by Tyree, gets it into uh, a nice turnaround on the baseline, off the glass and in for Weatherspoon. Throw it in to Weatherspoon, a uh, feed underneath the bucket, and he was right at the rim, and he laid it in, Peters with the feed. Dribble drive, into the corner, Peters out of the corner, yes! And suddenly it's a three-point ball game with 25 seconds. When he hit that shot, you know, it, you know, it, it's, it sparked something in us and, you know, it gave us more, more hope and gave us more fight. Bulldogs bring it into the forecourt with Reddy on the move, drives it all the way to the hole, lays it up and in. They let him go. His will and determination to try to will his team to victory was really, you know, beautiful. Now they get Davis in the corner. They got to file him immediately and they tie him up. And, and they tie possession. him up. And the dogs have the basketball with 6.7 seconds left and a two point deficit to make up. And Ole Miss wants a timeout. Stressing defense is big for us. I think he served me back into the lineup so we can play defense. You know, that's what I come out and want to do every game is stop my man from scoring. And uh, we get. A look, and we get it inbound to I.J. Reddy. Comes rolling to the right. He's going to go left. He's going to head all the way to the hole. Lays it up and in with one second left. We're tied at 67. What a great move to the hole by the senior I.J. Reddy. And there's a long shot thrown down the floor. We're going to play an overtime here in the Humphrey Coliseum. Before it even happened, you know, he's kind of seen me get into a groove, get into the bucket and getting a couple fouls. And he told me, go to the hole. I honestly was going to go for the win, for the win when uh, Saeed switched, but I seen uh, I had an open lane, so I took it. Bulldogs defending Tyree. He curls to the top and going to fire a shot up and in and good. He hits a three. We thought we had momentum. We had made such a miraculous comeback to get in overtime, and we wanted to get the jump ball. We didn't. Uh, the first play of the overtime, uh, there was a ball screen and we went underneath it instead of the top. I'm not sure it was called out quick enough by the, by the big defender uh, on our team. And so Lamar got caught on it and, he, and uh, Tyree, who had it going by then, hit a big three. And then we came down and took a, a quick three uh, and uh, then it spiraled. Uh, and we were down 10 uh, like that. And that was really unfortunate after spending so much effort and time to get ourselves back uh, to where we got it in overtime to begin with. Here comes Tyson, pulls it up with a long shot at the buzzer, bounces off the iron. Ball game in the book, 87-82. In overtime, Ole Miss has defeated Mississippi State. We were so mad, you know, because we prepared so hard for it, and it didn't come out the way we wanted once again. So it's back to square one, and that's just focusing on to the next game and just trying to get better every day. Once we can defend and get the offensive end going together, then we'll be a, we'll, we'll be a force to be reckoned with. But we have to uh, get both sides and not just either offense or defense. we got to put them together. It's obviously very tough because it's a, a game that, uh, you know, at certain points of the game, you felt like, you know, we were going to have a real good chance to win it. You know, how we've got to regroup now and try to uh, see if we can finish those games now and, and, and get some close wins. Thank you.